I did a degree in botany uh, at the University of Durham, a PhD in genetics at the University of Birmingham and then I came to Norwich in 1985 where I've worked um, in the John Innes Centre in the Sainsbury Laboratory and now back in the John Innes Centre. I work on understanding how plants make different kinds of chemicals. The reason new phytologists decided to fund this event is because it's very important for early career scientists to have the opportunity uh, to really actively engage with people outside their normal, their host organisation, to give talks, to share their posters and just to meet other people um, and to do that in a, a situation where there are uh, established scientists but the established scientists are not dominating the proceedings. The advice I would give to early career researchers in getting the most out of meetings like this is to engage. Don't sit in a corner and be a wallflower. Get on and meet people, talk to them, listen to what they have to say and perhaps float your ideas past them. Just get used to sharing your thoughts, listening to others and really engaging. You meet new people, you make new connections and of course don't be frightened of talking to the more senior scientists. They want people to talk to them as well. Outreach is really important both within the scientific community and beyond it. As a scientist it's very important to be able to explain to others what you're doing and to listen to what they have to say about their thoughts on what you're doing. Um, but also just, just to build your communication skills, not be frightened of talking to people. You should be able to explain what you're doing in words that anybody can understand. And never underestimate small children, three to four year olds, like for example, can ask really, really sharp penetrating questions. And they might be things you've never even thought of. They might give you some ideas.